At some point in your video production career, it's going to become important that you learn how to organize and write a clear, concise, creative brief. Many times that's going to be the difference in you landing the job or you sitting on the sidelines while a competitor lands the job. But why is a creative brief so important? It ensures that your vision for the video lines up with the client's expectations and goals. We want to make sure that the client understands how you're going to approach the piece and make sure it matches with what they want. Second, it demonstrates to your potential client that you've done your research, that you understand the client's brand and the client's needs. Third, it helps the client understand how the video will ultimately look and feel. Sometimes it's hard for people to picture in their minds exactly what it's going to look like until they have that creative brief in front of them. Okay, so what should be included in a creative brief and how should it be organized? Well, I found that people write creative briefs in slightly different ways, but you will see some content overlap from one creative brief to the next. Here's what's worked well for me. First, I include a title page. I use the very first page just for general information about the project, the, the main title, the client's contact information, my contact information, and the date on which the brief was prepared in case there were revisions later. And I like to include an image on my title page, you know, front and center, a large image that really kind of best sums up my visual approach to the project, kind of that poster image. On the subsequent pages inside the creative brief, you know, I might start with a bird's eye view of the project, just a general synopsis of what we're doing, and then I will move to more and more specific details of the job uh, further down into the brief. Secondly, I'll, I'll include an objective. You know, generally speaking, what will this video be and what do you hope that it accomplishes? Goals. What are the specific goals you want for the video? Uh, these goals could be centered on the video content itself, like messaging, or it could be centered around actions you want the audience to take after watching the video, or the goals might be centered on measurable results, like an increase in sales, or it might include all of the above, and oftentimes it does. Target audience. You want to specify who it is you're speaking to in the video. The tone. How will the video look and feel? Execution. How do you, the video producer, plan to tackle the production? What assets will be needed? What's your approach to the material? What potential problems may arise? Visuals. Okay, the visuals. To me, this is the most important part of the creative brief. You know, despite your best efforts to describe the video, it's difficult sometimes for a client to visualize what it will ultimately look like. That's why it's important that you do your research. What I normally do is go through and maybe find some stock images that reflect the visual style that I have in mind for the video, and then include these into the brief uh, as a mood board. By creating this mood board, not only do you help the client understand your visual approach, but you can also help to demonstrate the flow of the story by arranging the images in order, creating a rough storyboard for the piece. The next thing I include are the deliverables. What exactly will you be handing the client at the end of the project? You know, how many videos, what length, uh, what's the aspect ratio, uh, what all the different versions. Budget. Provide the client with a number under which you can go into much detail uh, about what the budget will cover. You know, general bullet points usually suffice here, but some clients might require a full line item breakdown. So once you deliver that proposal, it's important to set up a follow-up phone call or face-to-face -face meeting with your potential client because you want to make sure that everything in the brief is understood correctly and that there are no points of clarification that need to be made or revisions. Okay, so that's what's worked for me. I'd love to hear about what has worked for you. What do you include in your creative briefs? What do you find most important? What has... Uh, worked well for you in the past. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section. I want to hear from you. As always, click subscribe so you know when new videos are posted. Uh, you can connect with me on my website at clinttill.net. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.